job you need to take plastic tool. First you need to move the mirror to the upper side until you will have gap. Put the plastic tool between the mirror and the glass and then carefully pop off. And better of course pop off from the lower side. If you will pop off from left or right side, probably you can break the mirror. The next you have to find two plastic tabs. They are at the top. Here's left tab and at the other side is right plastic tab. And these tabs you need to unclench. First I tried to unclench this tab with the plastic tool. Unfortunately it didn't work because you have to unclench the upper and the lower pieces at the same time. Then I thought that the best way is to use the finger. I put the finger inside this tab. The plastic tool I kept the pressure. Then I put my finger between second tab on the right side and I also hold the pressure until it pop off. But you need to unclench at the same time. It came off because I already knew. First you need to take off the glass, find the plastic tabs and then you will able to pop off the cover. Some mirrors have lower and the upper tabs but uh, on this car we have two upper tabs. After that you need to unplug the wire that goes to the turn signal light. In my case I will be replaced with the aftermarket turn signal because original is broken. Unfortunately, I didn't know that original uh, turn signal doesn't cost a lot of money. But actually, aftermarket turn signal is much better than original one. I mean, how it works. For the next job, you need to take Torx. And the next, I took the Torx to unscrew the two screws that holds the turn signal. Next you need to take off the turn signal, be careful not to break the cover, my cover is ok, and yeah, and unplug the wire, because it is much easier to unplug the wire when the cover is off. I bought two aftermarket turn signals and they are actually in very good quality. I didn't find any imperfection, it looks like they are 100% the same. Before installing, I compare them, yeah, they are fine. I installed the drone signal in the cover. Then I use two screws to screw the third signal back to the core. Then I plug the wire back to the turn signal and then I try to install the cover back. Before installation I check the turn signal, it worked very well. First you need to install the lower side, then you need to install the upper side and then you have to press the cover to the mirror. 
Unfortunately, it didn't work in this case because uh, the turn signal is on the way. Actually, we need to push the turn signal inside the mirror because turn signal is on the way. Yeah, be careful with that because yeah, you need to install properly and then squeeze. Yeah, you hear this click, it clips together. Yeah, I checked the tabs, the finger. They are in a place yeah, and the next step you need to install the glass back to the mirror yeah. to the proper installation you need to find the proper location yeah, you can look inside the uh, mirror and then you have to press it and it will be installed yeah i did the right side and uh, the left side it will be the same to do the job properly, you don't need to hurry. Just work carefully and slowly, because if you will break the glass, it will cost additional $200. Thanks guys for watching, yeah, subscribe my channel, because I took a lot of interesting videos for this channel about G-series, actually about F-series. Yeah, recently I am doing a complete rebuild, and yeah, in the next episode I will show you how to reassemble and disassemble the front side of the car. Bye.